Good evening. Continuing coverage now. Family and friends gathering today to say goodbye to the three year old migrant girl who died last week traveling down from Texas to Chicago. She's Maria Alejandra Barbosa Gonzalez and her family. They were among a group of migrants on a chartered bus from Brownsville, Texas. She died a week ago in Marion County and now an investigation is underway as to why she died. Her funeral was held today inside a church in Warsaw, Indiana and Illinois Welcome Center paying for that funeral. News Channel 20's Julia Rose here. She's been covering this story and was looking into how welcoming centers in Illinois help these families who are coming to Illinois. Julia. John, the Illinois Department of Human Services said a welcoming center in Illinois is supporting the family with burial and funeral costs. I spoke with two welcome centers in Illinois who broke down what kinds of services they provide and what immigration trends they've been seeing right here in central Illinois. A lot of individuals were on buses who were going up to Chicago and ended up here in, in central Illinois because of that reason. Some individuals were somewhere else and then they heard of job opportunities or they had connections to families here. Last week, a three year old migrant child died while traveling from Brownsville, Texas to Chicago. IDHS told us the child's name is Jeez Marie Alejandra Barboza Gonzalez. Texas officials said the bus pulled over once the child presented with health concerns. She was later pronounced dead at a local hospital. IDPH said the preliminary autopsy results were inconclusive. There's gaps that need to be filled by our government to, to make sure that we're helping people find safety and then treating them with humanity and respect. The Illinois Department of Human Services said a welcoming center in Illinois is supporting the family with burial and funeral costs. IDHS partners with welcoming centers and partially funds their operations. They told us those funds are used at the welcoming center's discretion. The immigration project is just one of several welcoming centers partially funded by the organization. Saw families who were coming up um, and getting off in Bloomington Normal or Springfield or Peoria kind of in, in small towns on the way um, and kind of looking for immediate next steps and resources and trying to figure out how to get their bearings. The Refugee Center in Champaign has the same mission. Most pressing need is housing and I think you'll find that nationwide. Um, it's very difficult because undocumented immigrants do not have employment authorization. Like the Immigration Project, the Refugee Center organizes resources such as housing and workshops on asylum and what legal options are available. We, um, we know a client is undocumented. We try and direct them to resources that they are eligible for and also try and find other private resources. The Refugee Center in Champaign has served over 2,500 migrants during the 2023 fiscal year. They did not comment, however, on how much funding they received from the Illinois Department of Human Services. In studio, I'm Julia Rozier. Back to you. Thanks, Julia. We'll continue to bring you those updates on the story as they become available.